saw the way you looked over Like you were trying to cover Everything you've done to me We're here at Rising Sun Productions, where Born a Musician actually was created. We're so in luck. John is actually recording something right now. Let's go see what he's up to. Hey, John. Hey, Kara. How's it going? <laughs> Pretty good. Hey, we have a surprise visitor. Oh. Hi. How are you? Hmm. Come on, Come on out. So John, um, tell me a little bit about Rising Sun. Uh, give me some history. I'm going to start it? Yeah. We started back, uh, the name was originated uh, back in 1999 uh, with my wife. Um, we were in Japan at the time. And, and the name seemed uh, quite appropriate since my wife is from Japan. And, uh, but the studio uh, began construction of May of 2000. Uh, we had purchased a place, and we've been here already for 13 years, going well. And from there, uh, we've done a lot of different things, and now we're in a new, in a new era with our digital business that we're doing right now. Well, talking about digital business, you have developed bornamusician.com. That's correct. Um, that's actually you, you were recording for bornamusician.com. Um, so tell me the process. You know, give me some information on that. Well. Um, we realized a couple of years ago that there was a need to um, to create a platform that would help artists. Um, music has changed a lot. Um, in some ways positive, in some ways there's been some parts where it affects musicians' pockets. Hmm. So what we realized is that after recording so many artists that I've recorded during the years, especially that of young artists, um, we realized there was a need to, to somewhat help them understand how to make money in music. Um, the trend has been in the last five years that exposure is the key to fame and fame is the key to make money. But there's a problem with that because fame does not actually bring you money. Okay. So if you give away your intellectual property, which is your music, and you give it away for free, and you perform for free, then what do you make money from? And for some reason, that question never seems to sit right with the artist or it's something that they don't want to face, but the reality is that if you don't have your intellectual art and you play for free, then you're not going to make any money. And there is no, uh, like I call it, there's no money tree. <laughs> you know, like, so, you know, uh, let's say, for example, you do become famous. So who's going to give you this money? Is there somebody going to donate it to you or, you know, give yeah. it away? For, so... That's a little, uh, that uh, way of thinking is a little incorrect. I don't want to like uh, be too harsh on, on young artists, but at the same time, I want to be there for them to help them realize that uh, they need to uh, focus a little bit on the business side also. Um, it was normal before. Uh, it seems to be, a and I think what it, what it is, is too, is that um, file sharing, which is, a, uh, which is, the, which is being used uh, every day, um, I think that there's correct ways of using it and incorrect ways of using it. If you, if you put a song online and you put the whole song online, then there's no need to buy it, right? Because mm -hmm. you can just go to, you know, to the platform and say, look, I'll just listen to it there. He's got it there, so why should I buy it? So if he puts it up for 30 seconds or a minute of its time, now it, it creates an incentive for the listener to say, wow, I really like that song. I want to buy it, and then they buy it. Okay, so Born a Musician, it's a platform for me as an artist, um, musician, mm -hmm. to buy my music or sell my music? It's, it's, a, it's a platform to help you sell your music. Okay. 
So uh, it's a three-step process. Okay. Uh, we have a software um, uh, wizard that uh, if you go to the website, um, you click on sign up, um, it gets you started, and you uh, the signing up is free. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, you put all your information, you receive an email, and then when you get that email, you log in, and it's three steps. Uh, put in your name, the name of the song, and one thing that we do different that nobody else does is that we have a royalty system implemented in our wizard, which means is that it, it, there's a place to put the name of the songwriters. Uh, a lot of artists are not aware that uh, uh, iTunes, for an example, which is uh, probably the, the, the platform that sells the most music out there, uh, with, uh, it's got about 75% of the market share, um, iTunes charges a 30% uh, percent commission. Okay. So for every dollar, they make 30 cents and the artist makes 70 cents. We don't make anything from it. All we charge is our subscription fee. We don't uh, make any money off of royalties off the artist also. But the artist needs to be aware that um, out of that 30 cents that iTunes takes out, 12 cents goes to mechanical rights to the songwriters. So in the past, uh, the other are competitors, right? Who I have a lot of respect for, <laughs> and uh, and uh, they started what what you know a beautiful thing that is what ha what is happening now is is is, uh, is to be able to sell your music online. They didn't have a royalty system implemented, so there was no way for these mechanicals to go out to anybody. Mm -hmm. um, Dan Hogesson, who's uh, the owner of Denmark um, uh, Music Group, is the person I'm working with together with Born a Musician. He's the one who created the idea. He was a Sony artist. Uh, for over eight years, did uh, over nine albums, and he never received a penny of royalties. Hmm. So he felt there was a need to create the system, and um, just as like I've done, I, I, I created BornAMusician.com out of uh, frustration of watching what's happening to the artist and wanting the artist to um, to give back to them, to teach them something, to show them that there is a different ways that rather than giving away their music for free or performing for free. Yeah. All right. So the process is go to bornamusician.com, mm -hmm. sign up, mm -hmm. download your music, and you're done? You upload your music. Upload your music. Yeah, I know. It's downloads <laughs> when you buy it, uploads when you okay. try to sell it or go so to sell it. So you upload your music, yeah. and then how do like, you It know? takes about two to three days um, to show up on iTunes. Um, it takes approximately 20 days to show up on Amazon. Um, we have 150 digital stores, which means we are the biggest in the Western Hemisphere right now. Um, in Europe, there's some stores that have a, little bit, a bit more than we do, but uh, we just did a big deal with Japan uh, with a company called Space Showers Network, mm -hmm. and we're going to have uh, approximately 50 more stores coming up soon. Mm -hmm. And we have all of Asia, including Malaysia, Thailand, Macau, uh, Hong Kong, uh, Vietnam, um, so uh, we're going into a big, and plus we have all the mobile business of Japan. Nice. It's a very nice deal. So you don't necessarily have to have a producing, recording contract with you. You can just no. go to Born a Musician and do whatever you no. need to do. You could be but your if, own owner. And, and if you business. need that service, you provide that as well though. Yes, that's correct. We also provide uh, website design. We also provide mastering, CD artwork. Um, anything that the artist needs, we can help them also with a publicist. Um, so our focus and, and our goal is to be a part of enhancing a musical economy. And by saying that, what I mean by that is, is that we want, if artists make money, they have money to spend, it affects the people buying food, uh, you know, for the sound guys, everybody that when the artist spends money, that's going to create an economy that needs to be there. Right now, it's not. It's kind of, you know, free music, free performances. It's mm. not helping. So, uh, we, it, uh, but there's a positive thing that is happening because, um, you know, this has been going on for like about 15 years. So it's been a slow process. Um, one of the things that a lot of people don't realize is that the copyright amendments uh, for the Internet have never been passed. Okay. So what ha what does that mean? That means that when you copyright your song, you really don't have any protection from auto for anything that happens to you online. Um, part of that is because of you know lobbyists that didn't want that to happen. It's obviously a lot of people with money. They'd rather see it to be that be that a slow process, but it's not fair to the artist. 
And what does that mean in return? It means that if they do pass the copyright amendment for the internet, it means that artists will make more money because I have to pay more royalties, right? Oh, okay. So, um, but, but the positive side is that it, that, that change is already coming. So right now, uh, YouTube has implemented a system where they use a watermark system or with fingerprinting, whatever, however you want to call it. So when you go through us, which we are one of three distributors in the world um, that have the YouTube distribution, it means that when you put your music video or a slideshow with your music on it, or if somebody takes your music and creates a little quirky video with the music in the background, the artist that that goes through the our company, BornMusician.com, and goes through the process of uploading their song, they get paid for the views. Oh. And they don't have to wait for a million views. It, they get paid on a monthly basis. So if they got 10,000 views in one month, let's say, for example, it'll be in when they open up their account uh, and they sign in, boom, there's going to be some money for them. Hmm. So okay. it's very positive. It, it, uh, it avoids, um, it really, what I like about it is, is that it, it avoids you having to write a letter to somebody and saying like, hey, you put my music up there without my permission, which creates a lot of, you know, uh, yeah. negative uh, vibes, right? Um, so now it's, uh, there, I think uh, that part of it is really interesting because um, now the artist doesn't really have to care about that. He could say, sure, if you, if you get a million views, you know, put it up there as many times as you want. Okay. So, um, so there's a, it's starting to, uh, we're going into greener, greener pastures, I would call it. Um, and I'm very happy about that. I'm very proud to be a part of it, you know, to, to be one of the few companies in the world that have this distribution deal. And by the way, by going through BornMusician.com, YouTube pays the artist 60% more than they would get from YouTube directly. Oh, nice. If they do have a deal with directly. Because right now what's happening is that YouTube does not, they're trying to work more with outside distributors so they don't have to be one-on-one -on -one with the artist. Um, so that's why they're actually offering incentive for the artist to go through companies like ours so they can only have a few people to deal with, not millions of people knocking on their door, okay. and which makes a lot of sense. Well, I just walked in on you recording, so I think we're in luck because you just said that you can show us. Um, sure, yeah. You know, you want to tell us about the artists and you know, what, what yeah. you guys were doing, you know. Well, I'm working with Rebecca Skolnick, right? Um, working on several songs. Uh, this song we're particularly working on right here was something that I produced with her. Um, she performed piano and keyboards, I did guitars, and she performed the vocals, she wrote the music. Um, she's also working with a producer friend of mine from England, uh, John Ravenhall, who's going to release some music with her on Universal. So, so um, even though uh, I want to make this clear because a lot of people sometimes call me asking me to sign them, but I don't sign people, um, unfortunately. I, I'm solely dedicated to what I'm doing, which is the studio. And but when I see good talent, I mean, I'm, I'm very weak for great for great talent. When I see good talent, I always put up put my my foot forward to try to help them. And this is kind of what happened with Rebecca. I, I, I talked to uh, her about John Ravenhall, and he, uh, he's a guy that's worked with Sting, with uh, Rod Stewart, with Elton John. You know, some of the greatest uh, you know artists on the face of the planet. And I said to him, "Look, this girl's really talented. I think you should, you know, take a look." And he did. And uh, it was very cool because he came here and we recorded her vocals. And now uh, we're hoping soon that we're going to see a release. And then we've got that. You remember you interviewed him, yeah. right? <laughs> so. Um, and um, that's pretty much it. And so right now what we're doing is uh, she wants she. Um, she had contacted me and said, look, I want to put my music online, so we're finishing the track today, and we're going to run you through the whole process of how it works. Okay, well, let's get Rebecca out here and let's sure. do this. Rebecca! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're here at the studio with Rebecca Skolnick. Uh, we, we're, mi we're mixing right now. You don't even know. We finish all the tracking and the mixing, and I think we have just have a little bit of an adjustment, right? But Rebecca, say hello to everybody. Hi. You excited? Yeah, really right. excited. Okay, cool. So after this process, we're going to go through, we're going to talk about BornAMusician.com and what Rebecca's going to do about uh, selling her music online, right? Yep. So we play this one. Let's hear your vocal, see if it's right. Yes, 
Can you compress them a little bit? You want a little bit more yeah. compression? Okay. Yeah. How about like that? Yeah. Okay. That sounds good. Well, that's it. That's a wrap. Awesome. That's it. We're going to master it in a few seconds. And then we're going to go to the process of um, selling your music online. <laughs> wow, that's great. So now, um, we're already uh, logged in to uh, Born a Musician. We finished mastering the song, and it sounds really good. I'm really proud of Rebecca. Uh, you have any questions? Because you said you had some questions about this. Um, yeah, can you just like walk me through the process? I know I have an account already, but... Okay, all right, so you're already set up, okay. So what you do is, the first thing you do is you click on Create a New Release, mm -hmm. okay? And it's very simple. It's a three-step process. We're done. So what did you think? <laughs> that was so simple and easy. It was just so quick. Like, I never thought that selling my music online could be that easy. That's right. I'm it was very, great. I'm very glad to see that you're happy about it. That's cool. Yeah, and I hope that everyone goes and buys my song, You Don't Even Know, by Rebecca Skolnick, <laughs> as soon as possible. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> promote, 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 sell, sell, sell. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are at BornAMusician.com, saying goodbye to all you music lovers. Please feel free to stop by BornAMusician.com and sign up and get your music online to sell. Plus, you can also visit our social page. For uh, We have a social network for musicians, and it's called www.social.bornamusician.com. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>